Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And as you can see, we got a couple of commits, three big commits actually. Last week, after that great win versus Ohio State, Will Campbell, this guard, we really need some offensive linemen, especially since we have uh, two seniors at my right tackle position. Got a guard, maybe he can transition uh, to the tackle, or maybe I can transition somebody else. But one thing I do like about this guy, 84 Excel, which means I, if I do put him at guard, he's going to be able to pull, block for a lot of guys, our running backs uh, coming out of that guard position. That's really, really underrated as a guard acceleration because they need to get out there, especially with these, like, you know, outside runs that I do triple option they need to be able to get out and block somebody so he's got 84 run block and i'm proud of that johnny pratt a defensive end a guy that i'll probably redshirt but i can see this guy being one of those guys that eventually plays and just plays better than his overall right now he's 67 redshirt him he'll probably get up to like 72 overall as a redshirt freshman and then kenny mitchell another tackle i'm telling you these offensive line linemen with acceleration it's valuable i'm telling you it's so valuable but let's just look at the rest of the guys that came on a visit. So Josh Fleming, that five-star, look at that. We took over the lead. Syracuse is a 1,000 back, so now we're in a recruiting battle with them. Uh, it looks like he got 900 points on his visit. Calvin Bonner, uh, we got 850 on him, so we're first in his going against NIU. Dave Ferguson, the receiver, 77 overall. We're ahead uh, 335. We had our visit week 12, so it looks like we're in the lead with him. And then Darius Alford, outside linebacker. I mean, we have – look at all these guys. I mean, we have a pretty good string of guys here. This fullback we took over. We needed a fullback, so – and then the last guy, Steven Chavez, that is. I don't know how to say that last name. We're in the lead with him over 1,000, so uh, we're in pretty good shape recruiting. Let's just look at where we're ranked in top classes. So we're 32 right now, four four-stars, five three-stars. We're in pretty good shape. If we get that one five-star, we're definitely going to move up a lot. As you can see, I have two head coaching upgrades, mostly because of that big game we had last week. I had a one coaching upgrade, got a whole coaching upgrade off of one game. But as you can see, we are going up against Penn State. Now, Penn State has one more loss than us, and they're 9-2, and two, and they're ranked number three. So let me just look at the top 25 and to see how we can actually jump them. Because if we beat them, they're 9-2, and two, Clemson's 10-1, Washington's 10 and 1. They're 9 9 everything. And then Michigan's right behind us, but we beat Michigan. So uh, Alabama, 11 and 0. Auburn, look at that, man. That, look at this the next week, this week. Look at that. Alabama versus number two. Uh, number one, Auburn versus number two, Alabama. That's going to be a huge game. That's going to propel us, matter of fact, because if we beat Penn State at number three, we could probably jump up to four here. And then we'd be going into the Big Ten Championship. Uh, possibly playing for one of these spots because one of these undefeated teams is going to be uh, a one-loss team. We just got to bank on one of these two teams losing Clemson and Washington. And look at this. They play South Carolina this week, this week and Washington State the next week. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going into the ACC Championship and the Pac-12 Championship. Going against somebody. So it looks like USC might be that team. So, man, we have an opportunity to possibly play for a national championship if all the cards fall the way we want them to. But, man, this is going to be a tough game. So, Quam Barkley and Trace McSorley are back for their senior season. So, we're going to have a tough game. The good thing is, actually the bad thing is, is that it's actually at home for them on the road for us. So, it's going to be a tough environment to play in. But, man, let's just get into this, man. This is our final test. Can we do it? Can we pull it off, make the Big Ten Championship, and possibly play for a national championship? Let's get into it. Let's go. So, coming out into this game, I didn't realize this, but Trace McSorley is actually injured right at this point. He got hurt. Uh, I believe he hurt his ankle, so he's actually out for two weeks. So they're starting this game out with a different quarterback, their backup quarterback, Stevens. He's gonna be filling in for Trace McSorley for this champion or to go to the championship game. So this is a big game for a guy that hasn't had much experience at the starting quarterback position. But let's just get into this gameplay, man. Starting out, getting the ball to Simi Cobbs, getting some easy throws here, and Ramsey's doing a pretty good job of making accurate throws across the middle, finding Luke Timmy in there in the pocket. Once again, finding Simi Cobbs to the outside. 
I, I honestly, it, it was, I discovered it late, but using semi cops has definitely made a huge difference. It adds a different element to my game. Remember early in the season, I was using baby Gronk a lot and that helped, but now using semi cops and using that route running, that catching ability, that a senior experience, it definitely helps. So here they are, man, coming out without Trace McSorley as their quarterback. Uh, Stevens is going to drop back to pass, throw over the middle, finding the receiver, Charles, for a first down past the 50-yard line. So Stevens showing that he can throw the ball with accuracy, filling in for the injured Trace McSorley, finding their star receiver, Tompkins, uh, on a play across the middle. So on a first and 10, he's going to have all day to throw, gotcha, but bitch. this time it's going to be too much time for us to get in for the sack. So uh, now they're facing a third and long Finding the star receiver Tompkins, and we're gonna stop them before the first down, get them to settle for the field goal. So now Rams is gonna come back out on the next drive, giving the ball to the Heisman uh, candidate here, Devontae Williams. And on third down, he's gonna find the freshman Michael Wilson over the middle. He's gonna hold on to that one for a first down. So now almost at the 50 yard line, Rams is gonna drop back, find Luke Timian. Over the middle, Timmy is going to take the big hit, hold on to it. But as you can see, I tried to get out of the pocket on that play action. Just couldn't do it. So now we're facing a third and 20 almost at the 45 yard line but we're going to get a bunch of yards back. Simi Cobb is going to make the catch on the sideline. So we're going to settle for the field goal here but Stevens comes back out on the next drive finding DeAndre Tompkins and man he is just getting open in the beginning of this game and their stars have definitely come to play as you can see Saquon Barkley using that stiff arm getting to about the five yard line about to tie it up so on a second and goal Steven's gonna drop back give it to Barkley on the draw and as you can see Barkley has great awareness to fall back into the end zone and what a great play by him. A great individual effort gets in for the touchdown. So this game is tied up 10-10. No team is showing a real advantage here. But as you can see, Ramsey is using his legs, finding the freshman once again for the 27-yard gain. As you can see, the cornerback collapsed on the quarterback, leaving Wilson open. So now we're almost at the 40-yard line, their 40-yard line. Ramsey using his legs, getting out of bounds there on second and two. And as you can see, finding Simi Cobbs. I'm telling you, he just gets open, finds a way to get the ball. And on a second and ten, once again, finding just Sean Harris this time, who's actually been hidden on the depth chart, that number five on the depth chart behind uh, Timian and Richard. So he finally gets in the game, gets a uh, catch there. But as you can see on a third down, I run the triple option, but pay attention here. I'm not paying attention to the game. It's a fourth and nine here, and I'm like, I, I think it's a third down, but it's a fourth and nine. I realize it's a fourth and nine right here at this moment. I'm like, oh, snap, this is fourth and nine. So I throw it towards the first down marker, but the ball does not make it there. So what a blooper by me. A mistake on my part. I go for it on a fourth and nine when I should have just kicked the field goal. Wasn't paying attention. And that's what happens when you play the game on mute. <laughs> I had to mute it that time. And this was actually during a football game. So I was trying to pay attention to the football game, NFL game. And <laughs> as you can see, made a huge mistake not kicking the field goal. So Penn State takes over. But luckily, they throw an, an incomplete pass, uh, another drop there. So they force we force a punt there. So Penn State showing that, you know, they – can play offense without Trace McSorley. They're making some good reads. They just had two big drops on that drive. But we do get the ball back right before half. Uh, 15 seconds left in half. Rams going to throw over the middle, finding Simi Cobbs. The defense collapsed a little bit. So now we're at the 20-yard line, less than 10 seconds left. He's going to drop back, finding who else? Simi Cobbs open at about the seven yard line so four seconds left i'm gonna hurry up and find michael wilson the freshman over the middle with a second left in the half and that time i took a chance because I, I remember uh that field goal opportunity i missed before half and that time i get the seven points back but pay attention to that screen pass they run that screen pass early in this half. Just pay attention to that play, trying to get the ball to their star receivers. So Stevens on a first and 10, drops back, throws the ball over the middle at about the 40-yard line. The receiver stumbles down, 
So Stevens is actually showing that he can throw the ball accuracy. As you can see, he's finding his receiver getting inside the 10 yard line. That's Irvin Charles getting a nice 30 yard gain. So on a first and goal, Stevens is gonna drop back and find his receiver over the middle. And that pass is gonna tie up the game. Penn State is playing like they want this one. They are ranked number three in the nation for a reason. And they are at home. So as you can see, we take over on the next drive. Simi Cobb's getting a 12 yard reception. Devontae Williams up next. He gets a seven yard run up the middle on a second and three. Finding who else but Simi Cobb's getting another reception, 11 yards that time on that one. But on a third and 10, this time Timmy is going to be lined up wide right instead of Simi Cobb's, and he takes advantage with that speed that he has getting open across the middle. So now he's setting us up with a second and four. Oh and look God. at that spin move that Devontae Williams puts on the defender. But we are now facing a third and 10. But look who's in the back of the end zone. That's going to be Simi Cobb's. But look at this game is drunk. It showed Devontae Williams. That was definitely not Devontae Williams. But like I said, I told you guys to pay attention to that screen pass earlier because Andre Brown this time sniffs it out for the interception. Look at that. The receiver straight up missed the block there. That was supposed to be a pick play, but Andre Brown on the great uh, awareness there that great play gets the pick so we take over in their territory Devonte Williams getting to the outside getting up to the six yard line so now on a third and goal Mike Majette's going to be in the game this time and he's going to get in for the two yard touchdown so just like that we go up by two Bruh. scores after the Bruh. Bruh. oh my gosh did you see that stiff arm that Saquon Barkley just put on the All-American Crawford Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> a first down but we do get to Tommy Stevens and they're facing a third and 12 here but this time they're going to convert getting the ball to once again Tompkins he's getting open time and time again it's hard to stop this guy him and Saquon Barkley great playmakers I couldn't imagine how hard this game would be with Trace McSorry because I know he'd be running the ball because I know he's got like 90 speed I believe uh, that I saw but as you can see Andre Brown, they attempt to run that same screen again, and Andre Brown is there for the interception. And look at that, man. I'm telling you, Andre Brown stepping up when it matters most. He's been quiet this year. I mean, honestly, he's been quiet. Last year, he had a pretty big year, and this time, he comes up with his second interception of the game. But as you can see, Getting a stiff arm on Zeke Walker, the slot receiver for the Penn State Nittany Lions. K.J. Hamler gets a mean stiff arm that time. And as you can see, they have to kick the onside kick. And our big fella Knight comes up with the ball. So three minutes left in this game. I just have to milk the clock. And Devontae Williams puts a mean juke move on the defender that time. So now we're getting into the red zone. Devontae Williams getting the ball one more time. And on a first and goal, feed the man that has brought us this far. Devontae Williams gets up, gets a touchdown. <laughs> Crawford, to, I mean, he just delivered a huge hit that time on Saquon Barkley. This time, Crawford gets the best of him and straight lays him out. And that's going to be the story of this game. We are just too much in the end for the Nittany Lions. Ramsey with the great game, two touchdowns. 70% completion percentage. Devontae Williams with the 100 yard gain, three touchdowns, adding to his Heisman resume. And Simi Cobbs going over 100 yards once again. And man, a player of the game, honestly, is Andre Brown. Two big interceptions. They weren't user lurks, they were just purely on him. He comes up with two of them, one for a touchdown. And we are going to the Big Ten Championship. 
so hit subscribe hit that like button you'll see who we're facing next week i'm i'm kind of excited to see who it is is it iowa is it nebraska we don't know but let's just get it big 10 championship next week let's get it